In the last session, we talked about how to search a questionnaire. In this particular session, I'm going to focus on how to format a questionnaire. Now, I've got two formats here, one that I normally use for my research papers. Very simple, direct, just mention that it is a questionnaire, ask for demographic or personal information, and then add your questions here. The other format is for thesis when you are doing your MS or PhD thesis. And you can mention the heading that it is a research questionnaire for a PhD research, who you are, your title, and then a brief note that it will be confidential and why you need it. And then divide it into sections, section A for general information. You can format it in the form of table, just the way I've done here. Look at this. Here it is. So I've hidden the borders, no borders. So you can hide the borders and there will be no borders. So age, gender, years of education. Now based on your study, these will change. Now once you are through this, the next is section B whereby the respondents will rate each of the statements and you will have a scale for it. That is one strongly disagree, two disagree, three somewhat disagree. You can have your own response scales as well. Maybe strongly dissatisfied, dissatisfied, somewhat dissatisfied, neither satisfied nor dissatisfied, somewhat satisfied, satisfied and strongly satisfied. Now you briefly describe the scale here and then you've got your variable and the items that measure that particular construct. Now there is another opinion that you should not add or write about your constructs just to keep the framework or the key constructs hidden from the respondents. Well, and that's an opinion and you can use that as well or mention the items directly. Now similarly, what you can do is you can copy these items. Let's say I've copied them here and I paste them into this format. Here you go. And similarly, what you can do is if you've got your questionnaire in a paper, let's say I've got it here. This is a research paper and these are the items. Let's say I'm interested in this corporate performance. So what I'll do is I'll copy these and let me put it here. So what you'll do is you'll, you will have to format these. Let's say cut and then one by one paste now i've added the second one so i'm going to remove the other ones i'm just cutting them so that i don't have to copy again and again from the research paper and similarly you can do for the fourth one and the fifth one as well now when you are copying from the questionnaire that is the original source here this paper so where will you find the questionnaire you might find it in the appendix here or let's say I've got a few examples here. Let me open a few. Let me open this one. Now this is internal marketing concept measurement and application. And where is my questionnaire? Is it in the appendix? So if it's appendix, it must be at the end. So nothing in here. So where is my questionnaire? Here it is in this table. So how do I use this table to extract my questionnaire? So let's go to view, rotate view. What if we've got a table that has got our items, that is each of the item that is related to a particular construct is in a table. In this case, we've got exploratory factor analysis and the results of exploratory factor analysis are described in this table along with our items. But we know that there are one, two, three sub dimensions of this concept internal marketing. Now, how do I know based on this table that is exploratory factor analysis table that which item belongs to which construct? What are the items for factor? What are the items for reward? And what are the items for vision? Now look at this item. Our organization offers employees a vision that they can believe in. So just come in here, factor one, factor two, factor three. This item here. So is it for development, rewards, 
or vision it is for vision why look at the loading this item is loading well onto the third factor that is vision look at the second one vision look at the third one it is development look at the fourth one it is development as well look at the fifth one it is development as well because the items loading well onto development rather than the other constructs in the study so you've got development rewards and vision now this is how you can use to separate each of the item mentioned in a table for exploratory factor analysis and link it to a particular construct now similarly let me give you another example let's say i've got it here let's open this one so where are my items here they are scale items for internal marketing and employee commitment here is employee commitment and i can copy them from this table here and here is the evidence or reference so you can use this reference and obviously as i mentioned before go to the original source so there are three ways that you can find a questionnaire one in the appendix one in a table like this and you can have it in a table whereby the original source paper would have done exploratory factor analysis mentioned the items along with the factors as well just copy them and put them in your questionnaire here format them now the reason i use this format is to limit the space as much as possible now look at this there's a space backspace backspace remove the spaces and format it elegantly as this limiting the space not more than three to four pages so the respondent finds it's easy to fill in the questionnaire i hope this session would have helped you understand how to format your questionnaire for a research study thank you very much